hi this is Susie from Thread Quarters. thanks so much for joining me again today I know a lot of people are perhaps interested in taking that first step into dressmaking perhaps you've done a little bit of sewing uh, making a few simple things like maybe a, a pillowcase or a tote bag and you thought well maybe you'd like to try making clothes maybe perhaps making clothes for yourself well I have pulled together 10 actually more than 10 sewing patterns that I think any absolute sewing beginner could start off with any of these patterns I haven't put them in any particular order but any of these patterns I think will be a great jumping off point for you links to all the patterns I mentioned today will be in the description box below so please do check those out so as I say I have 10 patterns that I'm going to recommend but some of them have additional pattern pieces the very last one I'm going to chat about is a bonus one because you actually get four different garments in the one pattern so definitely stay tuned to the end to find out that one because that pattern is definitely going to be a workhorse for you I do recommend that if it's your very first time making a garment then let's stick with cotton lawn, cotton poplin, um, quilting cotton or cotton canvas. Basically stick to cotton, um, a woven cotton. If you go into a fabric shop or if you go online, you can easily find um, these fabrics. For those of you that are watching and have done a little bit of dressmaking or a lot of dressmaking already, a few of these patterns you will know very well. They are cult classics, but I have tried my best to also come up with some new and different and interesting patterns that perhaps you might not have seen before. So even if you think, oh sure, I'm gonna know everything she's gonna say, please just keep watching you never know you might discover a pattern that you haven't come across yet and I am really excited to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare before we launch into the 10 patterns I just want to take a moment to talk a little bit about Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community and they offer thousands of online classes for creative and curious people such as ourselves Class topics include things such as photography, design, productivity, and lifestyle, lifestyle skills such as this cookery and floristry. There's also lots of crafting on there as well, which I know we'll all be very interested in. Uh, there's lots of sewing and knitting and um, macrame, crocheting, <laughs> the list goes on. Skillshare classes include a combination of video lessons as well as a class project so you actually walk away with something substantial to take away from every class. Because they're online you can fit them in around your own schedule and pick something that is suitable for your own um, skill level as well. Most classes are less than 60 minutes. Each lesson is short, so you can easily fit in a lesson here and there around your schedule. Skillshare is a, a subscription-based service. Their annual subscription works out at less than $10 a month or about seven or eight pounds a month, depending on where you are. And the wonderful thing is that the first 1,000 of my subscribers that hits the link in the description box below will get a free trial to the premium membership. So you you can try out all those classes for yourself and get your creative juices flowing. As well as sewing, I enjoy uh, food and cooking and there's lots of classes on Skillshare that um, I've been enjoying watching. One that I actually watched last night was called Brine Time Pickle Like a Pro by Travis Grillo from Grillo's Pickles. Um, maybe you've heard of them. Um, he was new to me, but I was very interested in learning about uh, the pickling process. So this is for making refrigerator pickles and he talks you through different uh, ingredients that you can pickle and then also the um, the pickling brine and how you would um, put it all together. Different flavor combinations and options and it really sort of got me interested and I think I might be giving pickling a try. So that might be a class that you might also be interested in checking out for yourself as well. So the first pattern I recommend is um, probably a classic for uh, getting started in dressmaking and that is your classic pajama bottom um, pattern. And there are so many out there, so it was very hard to whittle down one. I have two options for you instead. Um, the first one I'm going to show you actually is a bit of a bonus because you get two pattern um, pieces in this one pattern. It is called the Night Garden PJ Set by Sew to Grow, and it has a beautiful um, 
Elastica waisted wide leg uh, pajama bottom. So that's the one I'm focusing on. There are, you've got a satin tie around the waist as well. If you want, you don't have to include that if you don't want to. And also pockets, which is brilliant. Um, but again, leave those out if you wanna keep it as simple and as basic for your first garment as possible. As you can see from some of the photos, they also have added little details around the bottom. So you can have a contrasting cuff if you like, just to add a bit of interest. Well, there's ones with um, pom pom around the bottom as well which is adorable but again give it a go if you want to you know there's nothing stopping you you you, you don't have to feel um scared if you mess it up that's okay that's what the seam ripper's for as I said at the beginning, all these patterns are perfect for cottons and for a pajama bottom, I would recommend the likes of a cotton lawn would be beautifully soft to wear, but also cotton poplin, which is a little bit heavier and also quilting cotton. There are so many interesting and fun prints and designs in quilting cotton and um, you could absolutely make a pair of pajama bottoms out of quilting cotton. As I said, this pattern also comes with another pattern piece and that is for the um, camisole top so feel free to work away and make a matching p uh, pj set um take it one step at a time this will be perhaps slightly more complicated because of the straps that it has um adjustable straps on it so just take your time and i think they also have a um online tutorial to help you with making those straps as well and as I said, I do have another option for a pajama bottom and that is Simplicity 9127. And the great thing about this pattern is that actually you can get make pajamas for your whole family if you want to. So the pattern pieces range all the way from child up to adult. So uh, you really can kit out your whole family in matching pajamas if you so choose to. Again it's just a classic elasticated waist wide leg pajama bottom and you can't really go wrong with that. Pattern number two is sticking perhaps with the loungewear um, theme and I have picked the Sylvia Robe by Sew Over It Patterns. With only four pattern pieces this is a very beginner friendly pattern um, but I think picking the right fabric you could create a lovely robe that could be worn almost like a jacket you could wear it as a beach cover-up or you could make a crop version and wear it um, just out and about in the spring summertime or make it full length and you've got yourself a dressing gown and again try making it in a cotton lawn because that's going to be the lightest weight cotton and it'll be nice and light and floaty and then once you get to grips with sewing and um, this pattern you can pull it back out again and try making it up in a drapey fabric such as viscose I don't recommend that for uh, a beginner sewer definitely have a few garments under your belt before you start working with viscose but viscose has a beautiful drape and movement to it and a floaty robe in viscose is going to look absolutely elegant and delightful so number three is the true bias ogden cami yes it's a cult classic. The sewing community loves this pattern and so many of you have made it. I have made it many times before myself as well. And there's no um, doubt that it is a great first style pattern. Just a classic cami with a lovely sort of curved V-neck front and back. It was re-released to also now include bus starts because that was something that a lot of people had um, requested just a classic camisole pattern that again you can make in a cotton lawn or cotton poplin I wouldn't go any heavier than that really it's quite a um, a-line shape so do bear that in mind but it really will just stand the test of time once you've got a few garments under your belt you can start making this up in a viscose or even a silk and make a beautiful um, camisole to wear either with your pajamas or wear with your jeans and your lovely robe sure see we're getting we're getting a whole uh, wardrobe sorted already okay number four on my list is a classic boxy top and i have two options for you again see i'm giving you more than 10 uh, patterns the first one is the maya top and dress by marilla walker specifically view a just a classic boxy top 
with um, grown on sleeves so you don't have to worry about insetting sleeves which is a little bit of a tricky process not impossible definitely something a be beginner can try but this just has a grown on sleeves some facings around the neck so that's just some fabric that you sew on and flip to the inside to finish off the raw edge raw edges um, and a simple hem and do up the the, seat, the side seams and you're done. Again, this is a great pattern to grow with because um, the other variations will just take e your skills to the next level. So make the top first, then make it lengthen it, make it into a dress, um, make the little tie so you can t cinch it in at the waist, make the top version then with the buttons. So learning about sewing button plackets and buttonholes and then also pop on a pocket or two. And again, that's another skill that you're learning. I've made the Maya a few times, but with a, um, a hack, so to speak. So it's been changed up a little bit. And I even have a sew along on my website for the Maya top with the hack um, and information about where you can find out how to do the, the, the alterations. So if you're interested in maybe doing a sew along, then do check down the uh, down below or else I'll also pop on here or here. I can't tell which side it's supposed to be on, <laughs> but I'll pop it on as well, a little card and you can click on that. It'll take you straight to the sew along. The second boxy top that I'm going to recommend is actually a class on Skillshare and it is called Sewing a Boxy Top by Laura Casey. This is a really sweet boxy top with um, raglan sleeves. So that's the sort of sleeves that go at a diagonal on your shoulder. Um, it is a straight up and down with no darts um, body and there are vents on the side. So that's a little um, bit of um, technique you'll learn. And the neckline is finished with bias binding. So again, that's a new technique for you to learn. The pattern is free to download with the class and um, Laura has the full video so long for you to learn alongside her. So if you're interested in that, then grab that free um, trial link in the description box below because that looks like a really great beginner's pattern to start with. So the next pattern I'm gonna suggest is another top, but not quite as boxy because this one has bust darts. Darts are sort of a little pinching in of fabric that will help shape your garment around your body's shapes, curves and whatnots. So this is the Montrose top from Kashmirat. And you can see there are two options for this pattern and I'm gonna be focusing on the first option. The second option definitely is a little bit more advanced because that's talking about sewing with lace and whatnot and let's stick with our cotton. The first one has nice little cap sleeves, a lovely um, nice, deeper curved um, neckline, which I think is lovely. The bust starts, as I mentioned. And if you switch it around to the back, you see it actually has a yoke on the back, which is a sort of panel on the back, upper back. And underneath it is um, a section of fabric that has been gathered. And that's gonna give you a little bit more room and movement and be perhaps a little bit more comfortable to wear. So a few more extra steps in making this pattern, but I think you could end up with a really lovely, versatile um, top to add to your wardrobe. And we're sticking with the top theme for my next um, pattern suggestion, but let's go with something a bit more on trend perhaps, the sort of peasant blouse with large billowy sleeves that I know um, so many of us love and are all, over the shops at the moment and this is called the Lottie Blouse by Anna Allen and um, it's a lovely um, elasticated uh, peasant blouse so it's got elasticated top off the shoulder or above the shoulder if you want to wear it that way. Big billowy sleeves or little puff sleeves with elasticated round the cuffs and a nice um, loose bodice. A really simple, easy design. Again, I think it's raglan sleeves and you could make it up in a cotton lawn. I would stick to the lighter weight cottons, don't go into, you could make it from cotton, um, quilting cotton, but it perhaps would be a little bit um, bulky. A cotton lawn would be very beautiful and lightweight and wonderful to wear in the warmer summer months. And I think this would be a great pattern to start with if you have never sewn a garment before. So do check this one out. 
Next we're moving on to the lower half of the body and why not make a skirt for your very first garment. The Donovan Skirt by Helen's Closet is a perfect beginner's um, starter project. It's an elasticated waist with an optional waist tie if you want, lovely roomy pockets and then different lengths to play with. So you could have an above the knee length or you could have it longer and have a side slit. So again, another technique to learn there. And um, it's just a, a really versatile style piece easy to start with and you can wear it during the summer or layer it up with tights and boots in the winter and it's going to be a great pattern for you to start with again let's keep it with cotton lawns cotton poplins quilting cottons for this one as well don't go any heavier than that um, but I think you could get some real some real mileage out of this one perhaps even a lightweight denim like a chambray would be very beautiful in this and easy enough to work with for your first start starter project. Another skirt for you, this is a classic wraparound skirt called the Fiore Skirt by uh, Closet Core Patterns. But it's got a little bit of a twist and so many interesting variations. Again, this pattern is going to see you straight from right from the very beginning of the very first garment you ever make up until just now. I would love to make it myself and I've made many, many clothes. Um, it, it doesn't have a waist tie, it has a button closure. So there you go, you're going to have to deal with um, sewing a buttonhole and sewing a button on, but you can do it. I have faith in you. Um, I love the different options. I love the asymmetrical front that you've got going on there, the little pocket you could add as well. And then if you're um, confident enough to do more than one buttonhole, then there's the buttons down the front option as well, which is gorgeous. For this pattern, um, making it for your very first garment, I definitely say stick with a cotton poplin, um, quilting cotton, or even maybe a cotton canvas perhaps. Um, the pattern does suggest linen. Linen would be a beautiful fabric for this um, pattern, but it is ever so slightly trickier to sew with than cotton, which is more stable and um, does what you tell it to do a bit more than linen. So for your very first garment, I would recommend sticking to cotton. Maybe even a medium to lightweight denim would be beautiful and easy enough to work with. And then moving on from top skirt, I've got a all-in-one piece. This is a dungaree or pinafore. This is the Clio dungaree or pinafore by Tilly and the Buttons. Yes, there's a Tilly and the Buttons pattern in here. Just the one though. Um, the wonderful thing about Tilly and the Button patterns is that she really does focus on the beginner sewer. Her instructions are easy to follow. She guides you step by step. There's photographs on um, the little instruction booklet, so it's really easy to follow along if you've never sewn before. And um, the dungaree dress has uh, lots of different options to sort of make it your own. You can finish it off with buttons and buttonholes or even easier, you just buy dungaree buckles and pop those on. Easy to fit. There's not a lot of fitting involved in this. Obviously at the front there's nothing. It's just around your hips. Um, you've got patch pockets if you want to add a bit of interest, so that's a little bit of an extra technique. And there's also the longer line with a slit up the front, again another new technique for you to try. And this being a dungaree dungaree dress, pinafore, you're not going to be making it out of a lightweight cotton lawn or poplin. This is where the cotton canvas comes in, the heavier weight cotton or a denim. Or there's another fabric called cotton twill. So um, look out for those ones to sew with. The pattern does also suggest corduroy and corduroy would be beautiful in uh, this pattern, but because of the way corduroy has a, um, a right way and a wrong way, so to speak, that's called the nap, but that's something else entirely. You don't need to know about that right now. All you need to know is that it's a little bit trickier to sew with because it will sort of move when you're sewing and you just need a little bit of practice under your belt. I recommend before you try corduroy but as I say do it a couple of times and then go ahead and make it out of corduroy and it will be 
And we are on the final pattern for the video and this is the bonus pattern because you're actually getting four patterns in one with this one and it is New Look 6217. This pattern has actually been around for a little while um, but it is still available. Sometimes these patterns go out of print but I have checked and it is definitely still available. I have seen it made up many many times over on um, on Instagram and around on the internet. If you just put a Google search in, you're gonna find lots of reviews for this pattern. It has really stood the test of time and a lot of people have raved about it. It's got a very basic sort of boxy tee with grown on sleeves so you don't have to do um, your inset sleeves. It's just sort of, they just sort of come out of the body of the top so nice and easy it also comes with a robe so as i mentioned the sylvia robe i saw over earlier on you could just get this pattern instead and you get your robe and your boxy top in one um, again really nice and simple straightforward to make and if you make it in your light lightweight cotton lawn it's going to be lovely as a beach cover-up or um just a nice lightweight jacket to wear in spring summertime and progressing on, make it in uh, viscose when you've got a few um, makes under your belt. You can go ahead and start trying shiftier fabrics and then both the boxy top and the um, robe will hang or drape as you call it in dressmaking really beautifully around your body and your curves. The bonus with this is that there is a straight skirt and a classic trouser in this pattern as well. So once you've got that boxy top done, you've got your robe done, you can go ahead and let's move on to the skirt. It has a side zip in it and darts at the back waist. So you're getting that shaping um, around your hips. So that's again, a new technique for you sewing darts. Not difficult, but it's just another step, another tick off of your technique. And then move on to your trousers. It's got the back darts, it's got the side zip, but you're doing trouser fitting instead. And that's just taking it up another notch. So definitely a pattern that's going to be a workhorse for you and I thoroughly recommend you maybe check that one out. If any of these patterns look like they might be something you'd like to try, I really recommend going onto Instagram and putting a hashtag and the name of the pattern um, and doing a search and seeing if you can find any reviews or photographs of the pattern made up by different people, different shapes, different sizes. Um, patterns are going to look different on different shapes. And it's great if you can maybe find someone that's a similar shape to you to see whether it's going to, um, you know, work for your body type or be a style that you like or you might see get some inspiration you see someone's made it out of a fabric or a pattern that you hadn't thought and suddenly this pattern looks so much more exciting and interesting to you than on the pattern um, envelope sometimes the styling that the designer or pattern company has used might not be to your taste but the basic lines of the pattern has so much potential past what they have done if you make it up in a color or a design that you like, it's going to be completely different. That's the beauty of dressmaking and making clothes for yourself or for your family or someone else, is that you have that creativity, you have that ability to choose and make the clothing that you want in the style that you like. So I really hope that these um, patterns have um, sparked some interest and you are maybe going to give dressmaking a try, please do let me know in the comments down below if you do try one of these patterns and let me know how it turns out. If you've been sewing a long time and can remember what your first garment was and pattern, put it down in the description box below please so that people coming to watch this video they can check out the comments and they'll be able to see other um, patterns so we can get a great a build up of lots and lots of different interesting patterns for new garment sewers to try out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you love these sorts of videos or you wanna learn a bit more about sewing, do subscribe because I'm gonna be doing lots more top 10 videos as well as tutor sewing tutorials and tips and tricks and just sort of um, showcasing my makes as well. And thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Thank you for my subscribers for watching my channel 
channel and um, commenting and um, sharing my videos because it makes a huge difference to me. I really appreciate it so, so much. Anyway, take care everyone and I will see you all again very soon. Cheerio.